It is Saturday, August 1st, 2020, and it's 2.31 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's time to read Isaiah chapter 22. The burden of the valley of vision, what aileth thee now that thou art holy, gone up to the housetops? Thou that art full of stirs, a tumultuous city, a joyous city, thy slain men are not slain with the sword, nor dead in battle. All thy rulers are fled together, they are bound by the archers. All that are found in thee are bound together, which have fled from afar. From far. Therefore said I, look away from me, I will weep bitterly. Labor not to comfort me, because of the spoiling of, of the daughter of thy people. For it is a day of trouble, and of treading down, and of perplexity by the Lord God of hosts, in the valley of vision, breaking down the walls, and of crying to the mountains. And Elam... Bear the quiver with chariots of men and horsemen, and cur uncovered the shield. And it shall come to pass that thy choicest valley shall be full of chariots, and the horsemen shall set themselves in array at the gate. And he discovered the covering of Judah, and thou didst look in that day to the armor of the house of the forest. Ye have seen also the breaches of the city of David, that they are many, and ye gathered together the waters of the lower pool. And ye have numbered the houses of Jerusalem, and the houses have ye broken down to fortify the wall. Ye made also a ditch between the two walls for the water of the old pool. But ye have not looked unto the maker thereof, neither had respect unto him that fashioned it long ago. And in that day did the Lord God of hosts call to weeping, and to mourning, and to baldness, and to girding with slack with sackcloth. And behold, joy and gladness, slaying oxen and killing sheep, eating flesh and drinking wine. Let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we shall die. And it was then, and it, and it was revealed in mine ears by the Lord of hosts, Surely this iniquity shall be purged from you till ye die, saith the Lord God of hosts. Thus saith the Lord God of hosts, Go, get thee unto this treasurer, even unto Shebna, which is over the house, and say, What hast thou here? And whom hast thou here that thou hast hewed thee out a sepulchre? I used to call this sepulchre. I don't know. I heard it sepulchre earlier, so sepulchre here. And he that heweth him out a sepulchre on high, and that graveth an habitation for himself in a rock. Behold, the Lord will carry thee away with a mighty captivity, and will surely cover thee. He will surely violently turn and toss thee like a ball into a large country. There shalt thou die, and there the chariots of thy glory shall be the shame of thy Lord's house. And I will drive thee from thy station, and from thy state shall he pull thee down. And it shall come to pass in that day that I will call my servant Eliakim the son of Hilkiah, and I will clothe him with thy robe and strengthen him with thy girdle, and I will commit thy government into his hand, and he shall be a father to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. And the key of the house of David will I lay upon his shoulder, so he shall open and none shall shut, and he shall shut and none shall open. And I will fasten him as a nail in a sure place, and he shall be for a glorious throne to his father's house. And they shall hang upon him all the glory of his father's house, the offspring and the issue, all vessels of small quantity, from the vessels of cups, even to all the vessels of flagons. In that day, saith the Lord of hosts, shall the nail that is fastened in the sure place be removed and be cut down and fall, and the burden that was upon it shall be cut off, for the Lord has spoken it. Glory to God. And I want to say again, repent. Repent, repent, repent. Get on your knees and repent. The day of the Lord is at hand. Jesus is coming.